carry on. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know much what you heard, but I was saying um, it's far more in favour of the employer than the employee. If your shift is cancelled at short notice, you've got economic insecurity, you've got worry. And then, as you mentioned earlier, you might have increased childcare costs. You may have to borrow, perhaps at a higher rate if you're not earning. So there, there is a big downside for employees. And that's really why uh, we need the government to legislate to ensure there are guaranteed shift patterns um, to give staff um, the confidence. And so we know a law like that, it's uh, not just good for the individuals. It would actually be good for the economy as well if you have people working regular patterns with regular pay and paying, paying their bills and spending regularly. Another side to this, I mean, for example, if you are, are a student, you know, you might just want um, odd shifts to work around your studies. There are many different contexts to which actually much more flexible um, work benefits the individual. Yeah, flexibility can be a good thing. But what we've seen so far, including the research from Living Wage Foundation, and this has been kind of debated in Parliament over the last decade or so, is that generally the flexibility uh, benefits the employer more. And think about how all our lives could be disrupted if our shift patterns were changing. It leads to extra costs. And even in your example, if you're a student, um, you essentially have two blocks of time. You have uh, term time where you have regular classes. You can plan around those. And you'll have vacation where you probably won't have any classes. You have a bit of study to do. And of course, there's a, there, you have to bear in mind, this affects millions of people. Just cast your mind back over the last decade. Remember under the coalition, we had that growth in jobs, which was a bit of a surprise after the banking crisis. But they were what's called the precariat. People were in work, but in lower pay. Um, with insecure hours, um, flexibility more on the employer's side. And this is what's kind of, it's a, it's a recovery, and again, a recovery after the pandemic, but there's, it can actually conceal an awful lot of hardship and financial stress below headline job numbers.